Hey what's up guys, KSK here, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to install the Google Pixel 4 ROM on your Pocophone F1 or Poco F1. This is a step-by-step -step installation guide and I promise by the end of this video, you will be able to learn how to properly set up any custom ROM on your Poco F1. So also, following this guide will help you to install any custom ROM on your Poco F1. So make sure you watch the video till to the end with without missing any parts of the video. So also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on bell button to get notified to see more awesome content. Alright, I assume that you're running a MIUI 11 or higher on your POCO F1. So in my case, I'm running the latest version of MIUI. So please be make sure before installing any custom ROM, you must need to run the latest OS in your smartphone. So if in case you were to see any system updates, try to install those updates. The reason why you need to update to the latest MIUI because it contains the latest drivers and all vendor implementations and most of the custom ROMs rely on latest vendor and firmware files. Now before getting into the main parts of the video, so please be make sure your phone is having an unlocked bootloader so which is a gateway to install custom ROMs. I made a separate video on the topic so just gonna go ahead watch the video, check the links in the description box down below. So also you need a PC or laptop running a Windows 7 or higher. Now on your smartphone, uh, first and foremost, uh, back up your photos, uh, videos and all important data to your computer. So this process will require to wipe the internal storage on your smartphone. So please uh, back up your device. Now once it's done, now head over to the settings, me account and sign up from me account as well as Google account uh, just to bypass any kind of uh, factory lock protection. Also remove all of the lock screen passwords, pins, face unlock data and fingerprints to avoid encryption issues. Now with that being said, moving on to step number one, installing a TWRP custom recovery. Go ahead and check the links in the description box down below and download all of the files and place it somewhere on your computer for easier navigation. So in this case, as you can see, all of the files are located on my desktop, which includes the Google Pixel 4 ROM, a TWRP custom recovery image file, platform tools, a me flashing tool, and disable force encryptor. So please note that these files are only compatible for POCO F1 or Pocophone F1. Now first go ahead and install this a me flashing tool and this tool contains all of the necessary USB drivers which can be used by your computer to communicate with your POCO F1. Once it's done, now extract the platform tools using a WinDRAW extractor. The platform tools is basically a zip file which contains ADB and FastBit commands. Using these commands, you will be able to set up a custom recovery on POCO F1. Now once it's extracted, move the TWRP image file into this extracted directory where ADB and FastBit commands are present. Now that being said, highlight the address bar from the top and type a CMD, then press the enter key on your keyboard to open command prompt from the current working directory. Now switching back to camera view, on your smartphone, make sure your phone is having enough battery juice. Now boot your phone into a fast boot mode. So to do so, reboot your phone and hold the volume down button until you see a fast boot logo. Now take the USB cable and connect your phone to computer or laptop. Now inside the command prompt, a type fastboot devices to ensure that the device has properly connected to PC. As you can see, it is showing some ID here, so which means the phone has connected to the computer properly. Now type this command called a fastboot of flash recovery TWRP and press the tab key to auto complete it and press the enter key to flash custom recovery. Now once it's done, type a fast boot, space boot, and then type TWRP and auto complete it by pressing the tab key and boot into TWRP recovery mode.
Now, when you're inside the TWRP recovery mode, a copy the disabled force encryptor zip file to the internal storage of your device. After that, you can detach the USB cable. Now choose a zip option and select the DFE file and flash it. So this will prevent a MIUI replacing the TWRP with a stock MIUI recovery. It helps to keep a TWRP as a permanent recovery. Now once it's done, reboot your phone into the system. Now at this point, your phone should boot into MIUI 11 with a TWRP custom recovery. Now that being said, and moving on to step number two, a backing up the current MIUI ROM. Now boot your phone back to TWRP recovery mode. Again, reboot your phone, then hold volume up for a while until it boots into a TWRP. Now inside TWRP recovery, choose a backup option and select a backup the current MIUI. So there may be a times if you stuck at somewhere or facing boot loop, you can use this backup later to restore back to MIUI 11 without the need of computer. Now once it's done a backing up the ROM, I recommend I save this backup to the computer. Now go ahead and copy the custom ROM which is a Google Pixel 4 ROM as well as a disable force encryptor zip files to the internal storage of the device. Some ROMs may require a Google Apps package uh, but in this case the Google Pixel 4 ROM doesn't require any Google Apps package to be flashed separately. Now moving on to step number 3, flashing custom ROM. Now inside TWRP, choose wipe option and select advanced wipe. Then select a Delvic system data and cache and wipe only these 4 partitions. Now once it's done, go back to main page, choose zip option and select the files in order. So first you select pixel 4 ROM, then choose add more zips option and then select disable force encryptor. So keep in mind if you're coming from any other custom ROM like Lineage OS or Havoc OS, you don't need to update the vendor unless you encounter any error 7. Now once you have selected these files in order and flash it. Now sit back and relax, the process will take some time. Now once it's done, reboot your phone into the system. Now as you can see I have successfully booted into a Pixel 4 ROM so but if you notice here it actually asked me to enter the password. The reason why it happens this ROM is having a serious encryption issues. The only way to fix this issue is booting back into TWRP and formatting the internal storage will remove the encryption. So this way the ROM will work properly without any issues or boot loops. So boot back to TWRP recovery again so then choose wipe option then select a format data and then type yes and format it. Make sure before doing this operation, I believe you have backed up the data on the internal storage. 
and that's it this is how you can install any custom rom on your pocophone f1 so that's pretty much it guys let me know your opinions in the comments down below also don't forget to check our website links in the description box down below i hope you appreciate my work by liking the video and sharing don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified whenever i post a new video so thanks for watching this has been ksk royal peace out